Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. This is the second part of the video on facial muscles. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First muscle which we will discuss is the levator labi superioris. It originates from the infraorbital margin of the maxilla and gets inserted in the skin of the nasolabial fold. The action of the muscle is to raise the upper lip. Let's have a look. So this area in the circle is the origin of the muscle and it is nothing but the infraorbital margin of the maxilla. These two muscles which you can see are the levator labi superioris. Next muscle is the levator angularis. And by the name we can tell that it is related to the angle of the mouth. So, talking about the origin the muscle originates from the canine fossa present in the maxilla and gets inserted in the angle of the mouth. Like I said, it is related to the angle of the mouth. The action of the muscle is to raise the angle of the mouth. So, let's have a look. Again, the area in the circle is the origin of the muscle and it is the canine fossa of the maxilla. These muscles which are inserted in the angle of the mouth are the levator anguli oris. Talking about the next muscle, it is called zygomaticus minor and as the name suggests, it originates from the zygomatic bone. It gets inserted in the outer part of upper lip and it draws the upper lip upward, backward, outward and is used in smiling. So this is the point of origin, that is the zygomatic bone and this is the zygomaticus minor muscle. The next muscle is the zygomaticus major which is also known as the smiling muscle. This muscle originates from the lateral surface of the zygomatic bone laterally to the origin of the zygomaticus minor and gets inserted to the angle of the mouth. This is the main muscle for expression of laughter on face. So let's have a look. This is the point of origin of the zygomaticus major, the lateral surface of the zygomatic bone. And this is the zygomaticus major muscle. So till now we discussed the muscles that have a function of raising. Now the next muscle which we will discuss has a function of pulling. The muscle is called as the depressor anguli oris. And this muscle originates from the inferior border of the mandible, laterally of the mental tubercle. It gets inserted in the angle of the mouth. And as the word depressor suggests, its action is to pull the angle of the mouth downwards. Let's see this muscle. So this muscle which you can see is the depressor angularis. The next muscle is the depressor labi inferioris. Talking about the origin, this muscle originates from the inferior border of the mandible below the mental foramen and gets inserted in the lower lip. The action of the muscle is to pull the lower lip down and laterally. Let's have a look. So this muscle which you can see is the depressor labi inferioris. The next muscle is called as the mentalis. It originates from the alveolar yolks of the lower incisors and gets inserted into the skin of chin. The action of the muscle is to raise the skin of chin with formation of small dimples in it. Let's see this muscle. These muscles which you can see are the mentalis muscle. Last muscle for today's video is the risorius. It originates from the masseteric fascia which covers the masseter muscle. The insertion of the muscle is the angle of the mouth and its action is to stretch the mouth in laughing and form small dimples laterally to the angle of the mouth. This horizontal muscle which you can see is the risorius. The muscle in the back is masseter and it is covered by masseteric fascia which is the point of origin of this muscle. So that is it for today guys, there will be another video for the masticatory muscles. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and also follow us on Instagram and see you guys in the next